This problem is about evaluating the limit of a difference quotient. Evaluate the limit as h goes to 0 of square root 2 plus h minus square root 2 all over h. If f of x is equal to the square root of x, what is f prime of 2? The first step, as usual, is to perform a naive calculation. What that means is, we actually plug in h equals 0 to the expression. Evaluating that gives 0 over 0, and this is illegal. We need to find a way to fix this. The difficulty here is that we have a 0 in the denominator. That comes from this h in the denominator as h goes to 0. Therefore, we have to find some way to eliminate this h in the denominator. What's the difficulty in the original expression? The difficulty is the square root. We have a square root here and a square root here. Let's see what would happen if we could get rid of those. This is completely hypothetical, but let's just see what would happen if we could get rid of the square root. If you take both of the square roots away, you're left with 2 plus h minus 2. The 2's would cancel and you'd be left with a factor of h on top that could balance the factor of h on bottom. It's not exactly possible to get rid of the square root. However, this is a good goal to have in mind. One very common and powerful way to get rid of a square root is something called multiply by the conjugate. In our situation, what this means is we start with the numerator. That's this expression. And we need to form what's called a conjugate expression. All that means is you take this minus sign and change it to a plus. This trick of multiplying by the conjugate relies upon a very important piece of information, which is the difference of squares. In this case, we're actually going to use the difference of squares read in reverse. That is, if you take the two quantities, a minus b, and a plus b and multiply them together, you get a squared minus b squared. Notice the square is exactly what we need to get rid of a square root. For our problem, if we take the original numerator and we multiply by the conjugate, we exactly get this expression. Notice the square here and the square here will help remove the square root, which is exactly what we were looking for. Now we know that multiplying the numerator by its conjugate will help us out greatly. However, we have to be very careful with how we introduce the conjugate. Whenever you have a fraction, the way to introduce a term that you want is to multiply by a form of 1 but you rewrite 1 in a way that helps you out the most. Therefore, we take the original expression and we multiply by 1. But 1 is written as this quantity, root 2 plus h plus root 2, all over root 2 plus h plus root 2. Then, that means we can multiply top and bottom by each piece. We already saw that multiplying out the top gives this expression and we're going to just leave the bottom as it is. After we square each of the square roots in the numerator, we're left with 2 plus h minus 2 on top, and the bottom we leave as it is. We are left with a very nice expression. We have h on top and an h on the bottom. Now we can cancel those. After canceling the h, we're left with a very nice expression. The original limit to evaluate was the limit as h goes to 0 of root 2 plus h minus root 2 all divided by h. We manipulated that limit by multiplying by the conjugate to make a nicer limit which is the new one, the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over root 2 plus h plus root 2. The new limit is very easy to evaluate. That is because this expression is a continuous function of h at h equals 0. Therefore, in the limit, 
we can simply plug in h equals 0, and that will be our answer. After simplifying, we find that the answer to the limit is 1 over 2 root 2. Don't forget, we still need to answer the question, what is f prime of 2? To evaluate f prime of 2, we go ahead and use the definition of the derivative. f prime of 2 is exactly the limit as h goes to 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 all divided by h. We were given that the function f is the square root of x. Therefore, after plugging that in, we see that f prime of 2 is the limit as h goes to 0 of the square root of 2 plus h minus the square root of 2 all divided by h. That limit is the limit that we just gave an answer to. So the answer for f prime of 2 is 1 over 2 root 2. Let's do a quick recap. As usual, the first thing is always to perform a naive calculation. For our limit, that resulted in the expression 0 divided by 0 which is illegal. The problem here is the zero in the denominator. For our next step, we tried to get rid of the zero in the denominator by manipulating the expression. The goal was to try to remove the square roots. If we start with the numerator, which is this expression, the conjugate expression is almost the same, but the minus changes to a plus. When we multiply the numerator by its conjugate, the resulting expression is this. This expression is good because the square will cancel the square root in each term, and that is exactly what we were hoping for. In order to introduce the conjugate expression, we have to multiply our original fraction by some form of 1. We write 1 as root 2 plus h plus root 2 all divided by root 2 plus h plus root 2. After simplifying this whole expression, we obtained 1 over root 2 plus h plus root 2. This is a much easier limit to evaluate as h goes to 0. Finally, in order to answer what is f prime of 2, we use the definition of the derivative. After plugging in the fact that the function f was the square root function, we found out that f prime of 2 is exactly the limit which we already evaluated.